This is Barry Vaudrin, and we're here talking with Rich Cristiano and Mr. Gavin McLeod. And they recently came up with a movie or produced a movie called Secrets of Jonathan Speary. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Well, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Barry. Good to be here, Barry. Now, Rich, I want to ask you, you were one of the writers of this movie. How was it that you came, uh, came up with this idea to, to produce this movie? Well, my brother and I have been doing Christian films since 1985. And um, in the early 90s, I got an idea that I wanted to do a film about an older gentleman, maybe a 75-year-old man, that would show him talking to like three 12-year-old boys to motivate him to want to read the Bible and follow the Lord. And I had a couple purposes where I wanted to try to show a, a simple man in his 70s how he could impact people, to give senior adults inspiration. So that was the, the germ idea. And then I uh, had the pleasure of doing a movie with Gavin, and we shot a movie called Time Changer in 2001. And uh, as I worked with him, I thought, he's the perfect guy to play this role. And I took him out to eat one night. I said, Gavin, I got this idea. It's been in my head for a while, and I told him a little bit about it. And I said, my brother and I are getting ready to write the script. He goes, you get it. You send it to me. And uh, what was good, because when we write, wrote the script, we knew we wanted him to play Jonathan Sperry. And so every line we wrote, I, I knew Gavin could deliver it. I knew he could, you know, it's easier to write for a character when you have a face on him. And so whenever I, we did Sperry, we knew it was him, you know, it made it easier. So uh, it was a dream project, and uh, we finally filmed it in 2007. Came out in theaters 2009. And uh, we're still playing theaters as we record this. The DVD's coming out in May. But uh, the movie's really come together. Had a great team working on it. The movie's done pretty well at the theaters. Promotion is the hard part, getting the word out. But the more important thing is this movie has a very inspiring message that'll uh, inspire people, challenge them, encourage them. We need more Christian films. And I think Gavin's performance in this is, uh, he's a man of wisdom in this movie. He loves the kids. His character is very loving, kind, peaceful. He's a man of wisdom as he talks to these kids and he handles them beautifully. He teaches, gives them these little lessons. There's a lot in this movie though. There's a bully causing the three boys trouble, and the three boys have to deal with that. And one of the boys kind of has a crush on this little 12-year-old girl, and Jonathan Sperry gives him his wisdom on that. So it's a throwback film. We say it's Andy Griffith with a message for the Lord, because the movie takes place in 1970. We filmed it in a small town in upstate New York, and it's, it's a film about a simple life. And I think as people watch the movie, they envy the simpler time. They say, boy, I wish it was really like that. And it, it can be. Rich, is this a true story, by the way? The movie is not a true story. But when you watch it, it comes off that way. We have a little uh, disclaimer at the front saying the following story is fictional, but was um, done to show you how one person could inspire others. And uh, I think that it could be true because I know there's people throughout the years that have poured their life, you know, tried to share the Lord with the younger generation and have impacted them. And that's the whole thing here. We're trying to get people to want to try to impact others for the Lord.